I don't know if you can tell it or not, but I am a huge Marvel fanboy. The Gangsta Nerd is all about Marvel Comics, the MCU, the video games, the toys. I think you get it. I so dress the way I do because I think I'm channeling Tony Stark. Moving right along though, Marvel Comics has been around for a hot minute or two, and in that time we have met some hugely overpowered characters. Characters with power sets and abilities that when you really break it down, it makes them completely unbeatable. Which when you consider that, you may wonder why you like them so much. I'm Walt the Most Gangster Nerd on YouTube, and here's 10 of the most overpowered characters in Marvel. Deadpool. Arguably Marvel's most popular character by a country mile. If you ever thought to yourself that Wolverine's healing factor is awesome, then you will lose your mind behind Deadpool's. He can heal from all the normal wounds comes during a fight, like cuts, stabs, bullet wounds, and blunt impacts, but he is also completely invulnerable to poisons and disease. And then sprinkle on the fact that he can completely regrow any body part, including his head and yes, his brain, and that's just where you start. Wade Wilson was a mercenary before he was Deadpool, so factor in that he's an expert with just about any weapon he puts his hands on, be it melee or guns. He's been shown shooting just as many enemies over the years as he has killing them with swords. And also consider his mind is so warped that psychic attacks are either ineffective or the telepath just can't get a hold on him. And have you ever noticed that Deadpool always has guns and bullets? He has the magic satchel which uses teleportation technology, which is how Ma Deadpool manages to stay armed to the teeth. So, when you consider he can't be killed, will regenerate from any and every wound, is highly trained for both hand-to-hand -hand combat and a shootout, is always well armed, and telepathy is useless on him, it's nuts just how powerful he really is. It's so sad Deadpool is actually turning heel in the future. Iceman one of the original members of the X-Men, Bobby Drake is a mutant whose control over ice is so powerful and vast that he has been given the designation of Omega, usually reserved for the most powerful mutants. It's only a shame that it took Emma Frost to figure it out. His powers include, but are not limited to, being able to create objects of ice out of thin air such as shields, weapons, and slides, as well as being able to fire ice projectiles. More impressively, however, he has the ability to turn his entire body into ice, and while in this state, should he be injured or even go so far as to lose a body part, he can completely regenerate it. And perhaps his most impressive ability has to be his ice clones. He can create sentient identical ice clones. He is so formidable that in the Xavier Protocols, Xavier noted that the only way to defeat Bobby Drake would be to completely burn up Earth's atmosphere thus leaving him with no atmospheric water to utilize his powers. Though it would be ironic having to destroy the Earth in order to kill one person. The Human Torch Johnny Storm, one of the founding members of the Fantastic Four and perhaps the most entertaining member, received his powers the way the rest of the team did after absorbing cosmic radiation. This accident left him with the ability to completely engulf his body in fiery plasma without any harm allowing him to fly and even generate powerful flames and streams of fire. Along with that he can raise the temperature of his body flames to the equivalent of a supernova, while at the same time he can literally hold on to someone without his heat or flame hurting them. And even when not in his living flame form, he has the ability to still manipulate fire. But what most people may notice but not quite grasp, Johnny Storm is perhaps one of the funniest and cockiest of all the heroes in Marvel Comics. With a confidence and wit that is unmatched for proof of this, during Jonathan Hickman's run on the Fantastic Four, Johnny Storm ends up stuck in the negative zone. No retreat, no escape, and against the entire annihilation wave. Johnny Storm looks out at a billion enemies, and without any fear yells out, a billion against one? You think that scares me? Flame on. And in case you were wondering, he survives. Truly a hero who may be too hot to handle. The Sentry Robert Reynolds, The Sentry, is perhaps the greatest plot device in all of Marvel Comics. A being so powerful, he is described as having the power of a million suns. The best way to describe his powers and abilities is to say he can do anything he thinks he can do. But, to be as brief as possible, his powers have included 
limitless strength, endless stamina, super speed, energy and light manipulation, psychic abilities, flight, and near invulnerability. But what be considered powerful to the point of ridiculousness is that he wiped any memory of himself from everyone. Along with this, he can be considered undefeated as he holds wins over many Marvel heavy hitters, most notably World Breaker Hulk, during the World War Hulk event. Something else to keep in mind about the Sentry is his alter ego, the Void, a being just as powerful as the Sentry, but prepare yourself, he's evil. Now even after all of this, the Sentry serves as an important function in Marvel Comics. He is the amazing retcon. If the writers need something changed, quick, call the Sentry. The Silver Surfer Perhaps the best known and most powerful former Herald of Galactus, the Silver Surfer is a powerhouse of almost ludicrous proportions. Infused with the power cosmic, which means there is precious little, if anything at all, he can't do, he has demonstrated limitless strength and near complete invincibility. He requires no air, no food, and no water, and is un unaffected by extreme temperature and radiation. He has also been shown for years to be able to survive unaffected in the vacuum of space. And then there's his powers, such as cosmic awareness, which allows him to sense threats light years away. He can manipulate matter, break it down, and rebuild it at will, even being able to move through solid structures as if they were not there. He can alter his size to be as small or large as he sees fit, and the ability to manipulate, absorb, and direct energy. Not to mention the everyday abilities he possesses such as super speed and flight. But what he's probably best known for is his surfboard, to me, which allows him to traverse deep space, interdimensional travel, and even move throughout the multiverse. The Hulk. The strongest there is, the biggest, meanest, greenest hero with the single worst anger management problem in all of Marvel. Ever since showing up in 1962, the Incredible Hulk has been smashing the competition. A being who is born of the inner rage of Bruce Banner, the more angry he becomes, the stronger he gets. Which already sounds bad enough, but when you add in the incredible speed, the almost invincibility, paired with the fact that should you manage to injure him, he heals immediately, you have a character who is a force to be reckoned with. There isn't enough time to fully display all his abilities or the best examples of his ferocity, but know that he is so feared that the Illuminati, the first Illuminati, the good guy one, the Illuminati fired him off into space in an attempt to be rid of the constant threat the Hulk imposed. And boy were they wrong. Case in point, World War Hulk, where the Hulk comes back and got revenge on every member involved only being stopped by the greatest plot device in Marvel Comics, Hercules. Being a Greek god might seem like an unfair advantage, but in Marvel Comics even the gods get in on the action. Hercules is one of the most powerful Avengers by any rate. Being immortal, he is completely immune to diseases and toxins and really can't die by most conventional means. He does not age. He has ridiculous super strength and stamina, super speed, and should he sustain an injury in battle, he has a healing factor that blows away the likes of Wolverine or even Deadpool. Along with his genuine godlike abilities, he is a fierce hand-to-hand -hand combatant, handing Thor a slice of humble pie, and even taking blows from Mjolnir without injury. He has caught the sentry in mid-flight, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk and held his own, he's even lifted Godzilla and held the weight of the heavens. The Scarlet Witch Twin sister of Quicksilver, daughter of Magneto, and former lover of Vision and Wonder Man, Wanda Maximoff is so powerful it is scary. Starting off with the fact that she's a highly skilled sorceress taught by Agatha Harkness, she can control chaos magic. But before she ever knew what chaos magic was, she was born with the ability to warp probability, which over time evolved into being able to manipulate reality itself. But for the best known display of her unimaginable power, one only needs to look back to the House of M. Wanda's mental stability is compromised beyond belief. She had become such a danger that the Avengers and even Professor X consider she may need to be put down. However, after a conversation with her brother Quicksilver, she completely changes reality, reversing the roles of humans and mutants and making her father Magneto a king. 
Unfortunately for her and everyone else, the other heroes figure out this is a ruse, which ultimately leads to the three most decimating words in Marvel history. No more mutants. This leads to the X-Gene being erased in the vast majority of mutants not only in Earth-616, but across the entire multiverse. A feat of power that is so scary only a few could possibly hope to meet. Franklin Richards It's a well-known fact that Franklin Richards is without a doubt the most powerful character in all of Marvel. Being the son of the Fantastic Fours, Reed Richards and Susan Storm, he's a mutant whose powers are actually the ability to manipulate reality. Unlike Scarlet Witch, his powers manifested when he was a child and have increased exponentially. As a child, he's created universes, which is mind-shatteringly powerful, but as a grown man, he exhibits telekinesis, telepathy, energy and matter manipulation, time travel, not to mention a genius-level intellect. He even made Galactus his herald. What's also known is the fact that cosmic entities and superpowered beings actually fear Franklin. Beings such as Mephisto and the before mentioned Galactus will literally run scared before having to face Franklin Richards. Now unfortunately we haven't seen much of Franklin since the end of Hickman's Secret Wars with just the one appearance in Marvel's Legacy. But the current story is he is with his family out rebuilding the multiverse. So even his absence is completely and totally overpowered. And that's the list. Do you think I got it right? Are you mad because you got it wrong? You tell me all about it in the comments. I'm Walt the Most Gangsta Nerd on YouTube and I'll see you around.